other team is ready for it, but I live in unicorn land. So um, I see there are huge cultural problems to overcome. I paired recently with Melissa Eaton, who has an awesome mm. technique called the Pinsy Mapping. But I learned fr about Conway's Law from Melissa. Mm. And and it, Conway's Law says that your system architecture probably looks just like your organizational structure. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I've and it, and it, it, now I remember what the original question was. How would you evaluate if your organization is ready for a whole team approach? Well, look at the organizational hierarchy is telling. So if everything's in a total silo, you know, you've got mm. a big road ahead of you. Mm. My my company, Mabel, is consciously avoiding the con. You can do inverse con law consciously avoiding that trap by not having a hierarchical organizational structure so that you're not tempted to follow it with your mm. with your software so that so you do what's needed for your software architecture rather than emulate what your brain kind of sees and if you look uh, martin fowler has a really good uh, post on i think on inverse converse law but that's a big thing that gets our way we are humans we organize things a certain way and it, we tend to do the same thing everywhere so yeah I but know. i like the idea of judging the like priorities like you say this but your site says this yeah <laughs> yeah your behavior looks like actually this is important i thought it would be an interesting thing to try from a from a testing kind of perspective so yeah nice question rich that was cool